Today I'll be showing you how I make a faux fur uh, pom-pom made with regular yarn. First you're going to get one of your pom-pom makers and I'm going to follow the pattern of the hat that I just made. It's going to be, it's kind of like a rainbow pattern with like white in between. So I'm going to start with the white, like one row, and then I'm going to do two rows of each color and that's going to match the hat that I made. And I'm going to do that until I fill up both sides. So every time you want to change a color, just go ahead and tie it to the next one. It won't really matter because it's not going to show once you um, finish the pom-pom. So don't worry about it, just tie it and, you know, just make sure the ends when you tie together aren't too long. But it's not going to make a difference. Just go ahead and tie the color to the next one and just keep going however you want to make it. Also in this video, I'll show you how to resize it. Uh, if the pom pom turns out to not is to be too big for your project, I'll show you how to resize it and get it to be nice and even. Time to shine just like a diamond. Yeah. When life is rough and I ain't with that funny stuff, I use it all as motivation. But it's hard to have the patience. Have the patience. Watching time fly by might be the hardest thing I have to do in life. Frustrated that I ain't where I want to be yet. But I know that I'ma make it if I chase that check. Yes. Okay, so once you have it covered, go ahead and cut it, but do not remove it. Leave it that way. I'm gonna um, have you tie it. And then leave it on after you tie it. But I will show you how to tie it really tight. Because um, you're going to need to have it tied really tight. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so watch really close um, how I tie it. Go ahead and wrap it around the pom-pom maker and then do it like you're going to tie a shoe and then you want to loop it around um, like right there. See, it looks like I'm tying my shoe and then I take the string and then wrap it back through one more time. That's what I mean by um, doing a double knot tie. And then once you do that, go ahead and flip it around and do that tie one more time. You want to have this tight because you're going to be um, brushing this out with a brush and you don't want it to fall apart.
Okay, so what you want to do is take the dog brush. Uh, I'm, I don't think a regular brush will work. I've never tried it. You can try it, but take the dog brush and brush everything out real well. And don't do it too hard because you don't want it to, you know, pull it apart. But just keep brushing it and fluffing it and clean out the dog brush once in a while because it works much better when there's not a lot of fuzz stuck inside the brush. But just keep doing that until you can... Till you brush it out as much as you can. Okay, once you've brushed it out as much as you can, go ahead and take it off the pom-pom maker. Okay, once you get it off, just go ahead and trim it up a little bit. And then just keep fluffing it and brushing it and trimming it until you get it exactly how you want it. So what you want to do if you want to make it smaller is you want to get some cardboard rounds, make some, doesn't matter, um, and then, or I had these little lids that were on these little containers, so I use those, but I already recorded this and trimmed it down, So, but I had to re-record it because it wasn't in, you couldn't see it. So anyways, I'm just trimming it, you do it one way, and then once you trim it that way, you turn it around because there'll be some long sections and you do it the other way but make sure you tuck in the string and then trim it and that'll get you uh, a smaller size I needed a smaller size so that's all you gotta do Okay, so here it is all done, and I had made mine small enough to go on like a baby toddler hat. Okay guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next.